Okay, excellent. I have to use a different uh, recording setup now that my uh, webcam decides to not sync up the audio in the video and my horrible previous recording software was, uh, for lack of a better word, destroying the quality. You guys may have noticed that on a couple of my previous videos. Um, so, today is July 27th. I said in my announcement of the YouTube Community Cup Season 2 that July 27th there would be an announcement video, so, ta-da! Um, so, you people left your comments down below, or in the previous video about what format you wanted, and the majority by far of you picked standard. I'm not surprised, it's generally the more popular event on, on YouTube. Um, so, we're going to have a standard tournament. Uh, I have my laptop here, so if you see me glancing over, I'm just going through my notes to make sure I cover everything, because this is, this is an important video, and it's supposed to be the informational video for anyone who wants to join. So, um, the YouTube Community Comp is going to happen. It's going to start, July, or the bracket will be posted on July 14th. That is the day after the M13 release, which means if you guys want to play with any M13 cards, you are allowed to. The standard format at the time will be Scars of Mirrodin Block, so Scars of Mirrodin, Mirrodin Besieged, and New Frexia, M12, M13, and Innistrad Block, so Innistrad, Dark Ascension, and Absent Restored. You may use any cards from that format, or from, from those sets, um, so M12 is still legal. This is the awkward stage, right, where you have the ability to play both, which is kind of why I wanted to delay this a little bit. Um, so you can use any cards from that format. They actually have to be cards, you know, it's, you know I play Magic where I don't plan to have cards next to my camera, I just happen to have them on hand. Um, so, uh, they'll be with actual cards, you will play through Skype, uh, for those of you who don't know what Skype is, Skype is a video recording program, so you're gonna probably need, no, you will need a webcam, um, and Skype, you just record your, your side of the field. And if they ask you cards in hand, you answer that and all that fun stuff. So just like a typical magic match, uh, Cockatrice and Magic Workstation have enough little, king, uh, you know, issues with it that I don't want. Um, I don't want to have have people trying to learn this new software right before Skype is really easy, and you're just playing Magic and Magic Online. Not everyone has the cards, and it's not exactly cheap for those who don't. So. Um, Here's how it's going to go go down. Here are the rules, rather. Rule number one, and definitely the most important, don't be a jerk. Um, I can't emphasize this enough. We're here to have fun. We're here to play a tournament. But we're here to have fun over winning. Um, I will be providing prize support, but if I find out that the people are just being mean to each other, I will disqualify you. Which brings me to rule number two. Um, which probably should be rule number one. Um, I since I, I won't be competing. I don't have my magic cards with me. I just have some some cards that I got from Magic on a budget. Um, so I won't be competing in this tournament. So I will be the head judge. Um, I I'm not a, an official judge on the rules. So I'm sorry I can't do that. I'm, I'm a rules advisor right now, I'm trying to get in contact with a judge so I actually do become one. But if there's any issues involving tournament structure or working something out, um, talk to me. I will do my best to, you know, accommodate what's happening. Uh, next rule, you, there is one entry per person. So any accounts made before June 19th cannot play. June 9th, or June 20th is when I made my announcement video. And so any accounts made after that, I'm sorry. It's just to prevent people from cre randomly creating accounts and applying or having more than one entry. Um, next rule: no cheating, lying, scamming, anything like that. You find out if I find out you're doing that, you're disqualified. Um, rule number four: you may have one in exactly one deck. That is a 60, 60 or more card deck and a 15 card sideboard. Um, you cannot have more than 15 cards in your sideboard. You have to have exactly 15. Your main deck can have 60 or more. Um, uh, number 5, or 6, I added an extra number. Uh, you must have a Skype account. They're free, easy to set up. If you have any questions about how to do that, contact me. Uh, next rule, 
and this is the or this is this is kind of important. I will announce the matches um, every three days, three and a half to give you guys a little bit of time. Um, you have three days from when I announce it, so I will announce on uh, July fourteenth. July fourteenth. Why did I pause there? <clears throat> on July fourteenth, I will post an announcement with the first bracket. You have three days to contact your opponent via PM or however other method you want, preferably PM, and to work out a time for you guys to have your match. I need to do it in three days because I gave a week last time and it took forever. It just was way too long and to be honest, I know school's coming up for a lot of you so we want to try and get this all wrapped up and I want to ship out prizes or at least finish the tournament before before school gets on, you know, on on the on the roll. I know that's not the right phrase. Um, so you have three days. If you guys have an issue and you cannot do it in three days, if both people send me a PM, I will give you guys a 24-hour extension. Other than that, you know, you guys have to work it out. I'm sorry. Um, the tournament will be best of three single elimination, so when you play against someone, you'll play a best of three match. You guys can roll a die, flip a coin, I don't care how you figure out who goes first in the first match. Uh, we're not going to do it with the top eight rules where the top seed gets to play first. That's, that's kind of shenanigans, because seeds will be decided at random. Um, but single elimination, so if you lose a best of three, you're out. This is, again, to make the tournament go at a rather, you know, fast pace. Um, so first parents will be posted July 14th. You have until now when I post this video to July 13th at, um, at 11.59 p.m. Uh, we're going to go with 11.59 Eastern Standard Time um, to let me know that you are in the tournament. Um, how you let me know you're in the tournament? You must leave me, a, or you must leave a comment down below or send me a PM, or you can send me an email at mrlubufu at yahoo.com with the following information. Your YouTube name, your Skype name, a deck name of some sort, and then a full deck list and sideboard. Now, I will be making all deck lists and all sideboards um, posted on a, um, an open document so anybody can watch or can, can read through the document, but no one will be able to edit it except for me. If you have any edits to your deck, like you open something good in M13 you want to play with, PM me and I can adjust that and I will have everything ready. But you have to contact me through one of those three ways with all of that information. If you don't include all of that information, I don't count you registered. Uh, it's free, so you don't have to pay anything. Uh, this, that, I should mention that. Um, there will be no proxies allowed. Use real cards. Uh, if you get caught with proxies, uh, you know, automatic disqualification, you get some major, you know, annoyance on my channel, and yeah. Um, so as I said already, I'm not competing, so I'm the final judge. Um, let's talk about prizes. First place um, will get either any three packs of Magic the Gathering cards they want, or any card or combination of cards up to, you know, 25 or so dollars from my binder. Something along those lines. If you see something that's like, oh, 26 or 30, you got first place in my tournament. I'll, of course I'll get it to you. Second place is two packs of Magic the Gathering cards, or about $15 worth of cards from my binder. Third place is one pack of Magic the Gathering cards, that are about $10 worth of cards from my binder. And fourth place is about $5 worth of cards from my binder. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not an amazing prize pool, but I'm paying for all of this myself. So, you know, it's free for you guys, and it, it has prizes, so you guys really shouldn't complain much. Um, so, if you guys want to enter, PM me, leave a comment down below, um, or email me. Give, send a complete deck list and sideboard, and I will have you guys registered in the tournament. Again, the tournament will begin July 14th, so, you know, you guys have a little more than a couple of weeks to start getting your act together. If you guys need cards for a deck, you can start trading for them. I want to give you guys enough of a cushion for that much. Um, if you guys have any more questions at all, 
uh, leave a comment down below, PM me, email me, and I will answer you. And if it's an, an extremely relevant question, I will post an 